YouTubers and friends, how you doing out there? Great, great. Hey, um, as you know, we're out of my shop and I'm just sitting out here on a cold night and I thought I'd show you guys how I made some of my crevicing tools. Um, and they're, they happen to be made out of something we all have laying around or soon will be. And that's a handle from a broken, broken bucket. But there you go. Um, I'm going to save some time instead of working on and pounding and straightening this out. Um, I'm going to use... Uh, one of the dowsing rods I made out of a bucket handle and I made one here there's one there and cold hammered um, cold hammered the steel and this one's about four inches long maybe three and a half um, it has a nice little cur curve to it. The rod does bow. I'm not sure if I want to bend over the handle like this one I have back here that I made. Now here's two of my crevicing tools that I've made. One's actually made out of a coat hanger, believe it or not. It's for some real narrow, narrow cracks. Um, it does have some give to it. I use this side here, back here, and it hooks around my hand. And I can get into some real tight cracks and pull up some material. And as you see, I have it painted neon red or safety red or orange. Yeah, safety orange, neon orange, whatever. It's my layout paint, you know, from work. So, and as, and here's another one with. A shorter end and just cold hammer that out and there you go here's this one that I started working on uh, the other day I think I have it about where I want it but I want to make another one with a piece half the size so I'm going to go ahead and use this dowsing rod that I made before. That's about four fingers, you know, about four inches or so. So I'll go two. It helps when you have a vise. My vice is just over here and I should have used it because now my bend's a little off. But that's easily taken care of. I probably could have flattened it a lot easier. Before I bent it.
I think I like it with a little curve better. Yeah. Here. So far there's my scooping side. Now, do I want to make a big looping handle? Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Just finishing up the little thing on my handle. Little electrical tape. Got a little handle to go by, a little flat, nice flat edge. A little touch up here. Oh, kind of little, even like that spend on it. And there it is, a nice little crevice tool, just a little tapping and bending. If you have a vise, it makes it nice. There's a handle. But there it is, a effective, cheap, alternative to, for a crevice tool. You can also use screwdrivers and picks and all kinds of stuff. Be creative. Well, in these cold months when you're out in your shed like Ed, um, there's something you could do to help break up the cabin fever. Well, until then, may you have a flash in your pan in your shed. And you know what I always say, maybe one day too, I'll see you on the river.